did you get a haircut? Well, trim. Today on the countdown, no white after Labor Day. Are we doing that? Our top thrifting tips. The raw jewelry trend. And Miley Cyrus's crazy new do. I'm Leah. And I'm Mary. And, and this, this is The Hot List. The number one rule you hear at the end of summer is no white after Labor Day. We completely disagree with this. We think it's outdated. We love white. It's all about mixing patterns and prints and making white work all the way through fall. One way to transition your white is to contrast it. And we love the black and white. It's a classic combo. So what are you loving, Leah? I love the peplum because mm -hmm. it's got that graphic. I mean, that's what yes. turn to the graphic. So you've got the black and the white. It's a very modern take on this classic combo. Yes. And I love the little white blouse with the black Peter Pan collar. Super cute. So sweet. Throw it on instead of a t-shirt and just look a little more pulled together. If you want to go a little bit more glam, another great contrast with white is gold. Super fab. So we are loving these cap-toed gold pumps. They are so cute. Give them to me. I want them with jeans. I want them with a skirt. I want them with a dress. Just give them to her. Just give them to me. Mm -hmm. Summer can wreak havoc on your hair, and as the sun fades, it's time to assess the damage that all that fun in the sun has done to your locks. Well, luckily, we have found this miracle treatment called Black 15 in 1. When we say 15 in 1, we mean 15 in 1. Mm -hmm. It literally does 15 things. Are you ready for this? I'm okay. ready. I'm ready. So, smooths, protects, shines, moisturizes, protects against UV rays, protects against products. I mean, the list goes on and on. However, L'Oreal Paris official hair artist Eric Delmonico advises you guys should just make a good old fashioned appointment with your own hairstylist to assess the real damage and get a game plan. Summer is all about delicate jewelry, but come Labor Day, it's all about the heavy hardware and we're not talking gold medals. No, we're not. We're talking raw jewels. Which is so fab. So fabulous. You can go a little bit more shiny and kind of polished, or you can go super raw. We took to Pinterest to check out our favorites and we found a ton of super cute jewelry. Now you can go ruby red, which is perfect for the fall burgundy trend, like with the lips. Amazing. Oh my gosh, emerald green, so good. I really like it, Goes brings up my eyes. Yeah, it goes for your eyes. Mm -hmm. The best part is no two pieces will ever be the same. All one of a kind. A really great place to pick up some gemstone jewelry is your thrift store, and we are obsessed with thrifting. In fact, if we could go to every thrift store in the world all day long for the rest of our lives, I think we'd be really happy. Yeah, I think we'd just, yeah, be at thrift stores all the time. All the time. So we wanted to share with you guys some of our top thrifting tips. Mary, hit it. I hear a lot of people saying, my thrift store is the worst. I can't find anything there. But as my Aunt Bonnie said, gold is where you find it. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but I know what she meant by it. And that is, you can find good things anywhere. You just have to look. Start small, start in sections. So we can start in the shoe department, or start in the purse department, or start in the jewelry department. Let me just tell you, if you find one good find, it will keep your motor going for all of the rest of the hunting. It sure will. You wanna get that price down? Be nice. Mm -hmm. A little charm goes a long way, whether it's a man or a lady. Sweet talk them a little bit, and they usually give you a deal. Works for me. Works for her mm -hmm. every time. It does. To manage the huge clothing sections, we suggest starting at the dressing rooms. That's right, the dressing rooms. Mm -hmm. Because that's where people have already sorted through the goods. So maybe it didn't fit them quite right, or it wasn't the right color, but they've done their sorting for you. And one of our favorite things to do is to kind of customize a little bit if you see something with a little bit of potential. I got this skirt for $2 at the Salvation Army, and it was sort of this off-white kind of peachy color, and it needed a little something. So cute. So I figured, thank you. So I figured it was worth the investment. I picked up a little writ dye, which is recommended for cotton fabrics only, but I figured a couple bucks, a couple bucks, I'm gonna risk it, and it totally worked. So I did like a soft pale yellow, which I'm really loving and loving for fall. It has a little ballerina quality to it, and I'm stoked. You look great. Thank you. Are you guys obsessed with thrifting as much as we are? I highly doubt it. But we want to know, what is your best find? Leave a comment below. Another week, another Miley hair story. And this week was a big one. Yeah, a shocker. Yes. Yeah. Miley tweeted a picture of her hairstylist with scissors right around her bun. Which is a bold move. Yes. And a few minutes later, emerged with a new adorably modern pixie punk cut. Right after the big incident, Miley tweeted a picture of her new do with the caption, I've never felt more me in my whole life. Me neither. What do you think? You like it? 
Looking good, Mayor. Looking good. Well, thank you. Thank you. I gotta say, I actually do like you as a blonde. You do? I do. We're like twins. There's rumors springing up everywhere that Miley donated her hair to Locks of Love. Yes. However, neither Miley nor Locks of Love have confirmed this. Don't you need, like, a certain amount of length to be able to donate? Yes, so that brings us back to our next bit of investigative research, and that is that you need 10 inches, at least, of unbleached hair in order to donate to Locks of Love. And you know she's been bleaching her hair. Yeah, she's been blonde for a while and I was loving it. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna go ahead and guess that she probably didn't, but either way, we love it. She looks adorable, it's so cute, it's so fun. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for this week's countdown. Make sure you guys like this video and leave a comment about your favorite story below. And for more of us and this skirt, check out fabulousonabudget.com. And go to You Look Hot all week long for all of your fashion and beauty needs. Bye. Thank you.